It's a vlogmas. Good morning. Hold on, wait. Let me. I'm watching a YouTube video. Um, good morning. It is eight o'clock in the morning. I um, just made myself a bowl of raisin bran crunch with some almond milk. Um, so I'm having that. I'm watching Smiley Quanta Smile for Me vlog. Um, and so I'm going to eat. Oh God, I have such a headache. I've been waking up with this headache. Um, I'm going to eat my cereal and then I'm going to go ahead and get ready for work so I can get out of here on time. I'm going to get to work on time and all that stuff. Let me tell you though, that roasted chicken, and I'm not just saying this because I didn't eat meat until Saturday um, because that wasn't a big deal. I ate good food and I was still fine. But that recipe for that roasted chicken, so that my apartment still smells so delicious. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And I do have a bag of frozen broccoli in the fridge. So I will make my um, Brussels sprouts tonight. So I'm going to bring my bag of broccoli and one of the bigger red potatoes. And just bring that to work and uh, put that one potato in the oven or something. And um, make my broccoli. So yeah, lunch is all set. I'm having breakfast now. I'm going to finish watching this vlog, eat my cereal. And then I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready. Vlogmas day 11. Are y'all ready? Because it's a vlogmas. <sighs> Y'all, I'm getting so many phone calls. My sister called me. Um, my grandmother just called me um, because there was an explosion at uh, 42nd Street Port Authority. Um, and so they wanted to make sure I was okay, know where I was. Thank God I'm still in the house. But we live in such a scary world. Like, Honestly, I know some people in other places deal with this every day. So, you know, this is not to diminish people who really live in dire situations. But, like, for all of us, this is just so scary. You don't know what's going to happen when. You're trying to just go about your normal life without fear. But, like, yo, I'm scared. Now I got to get on the subway. Like, ugh, I'm so just... I don't know what to do. Um... So I texted my boss to let him know that I was probably going to be running a little bit late. If I had the funds, I would just take a cab to work because I'd rather do that at this point because all of the trains are going to be doing something crazy because they can't go to, to 42nd Street Times Square because of the explosion. Um, yeah, I don't know. People got injured. You know, they're trying to f make sure there's nothing else. And it's just like, it's crazy. Oh, I got CNN on. So I'm trying to see what's going on. Yeah, look. Reported an explosion at the Port Authority in Manhattan. It's a huge transportation up here on the west side. I don't have to go that way to get to work, thank God. But when something happens on one line, it really snarls everything else. So I don't even know how long it's going to take me to, to get to work. We're supposed to be having the kids come in um, this evening because we're teaching a lesson for them. Like, if I was a parent, I'd be like, no, you come straight home. There was an explosion today. You going straight home from school. Like, I don't even know what we're going to do. I guess we'll have to sort of watch the trains and talk with my ED and see if he wants us to... To keep with the class today or move it to a different day like I honestly don't know what's the best you know call here because this is scary and if I were a parent or a student like I can understand not wanting to deal with that today so I don't know we'll see I'll come back and update you guys I need to get in the shower because my grandmother was talking to me on the phone for such a long time so I'm gonna hop in the shower now get myself together um, walk the dog and all that good stuff and then I'll try and give you an update as I'm trying to get you know to work this morning because I don't really know what that commute is going to look like so until then okay guys um, I still have CNN going in the background because this explosion is like ugh I mean I'm actually really grateful like I thank God it sounds like um, like this was like a near miss like this could have been really bad um, based on where the guy was what time he was there um, and all that stuff. So only four people are injured. Thank God. I mean, honestly, thank you, Lord, because that could have been like terrible. Um, but I'm finally dressed. It is 930. So I'm still pretty okay. I need to walk the dog but my lunch and stuff is packed. Um, but I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so um, I have the glasses I always wear the earrings. I mostly always wear <laughs> Um, and then I'm wearing this like chambray top. 
I don't remember where I got the chambray top from, um, but I have this necklace um, just under the collar here, and then I have a black and white um, striped skirt that's super thin, so like you can kind of see the shirt underneath, but it's okay. Um, I like to just pull out the back, so I've done that with some regular tights, and then my uh, my wedges that I got from Payless. Um, so yeah, that's the outfit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get myself out of here. I already packed my lunch and stuff, so I just need to throw it into my work bag. So I'm going to walk the dog, do that, um, and then pray for me, y'all, that this subway is not all that jacked up. I usually take the subway that goes cross town, so I don't even have to go into Manhattan. I'm just worried that the train that I take to the cross town train um, might be running with delays because everything else might be on its line now. I don't know. We'll see, right? I'm about to find out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I will see you guys in route. lunchtime. I'm gonna have some of my chicken from last night. Ow, 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 ow. And um, some fries and some water. And I'm gonna watch some of my favorite people on YouTube. Um, I have to teach this evening starting at 4. So I need to eat quickly so I can get my classroom set up so that we can be prepared to teach. So it should be fun. It's gonna be kind of hectic. It's a little bit of a late night but you know it's what else. Um, so talk to you in a bit. The calm before the storm. I'm about to teach today. I'm very excited. Wish me luck. Okay, hey guys. Um, so I am about to get out of work. I um, didn't get any footage <laughs> during the class. The first session was fine. The second session, those kids were so chatty. I was like <sighs> trying not to lose it on them. Um, they were just, I mean, bup, 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 the whole time. And so it was a lot of like correction of <laughs> behavior the whole time. But I think the sessions went really well. They're doing a really interesting case for this second debate. Um, so they seem to, once they understood that they understood it, I think, you know, it was fine for them. Um, so yeah, we don't have another session until Wednesday, and my colleague is going to teach both of them, and then I'm going to teach both of the ones on Thursday. Um, so it should be good, but I'm getting ready to get out of here and go home. I don't know what I'm having for dinner because I don't feel like cooking anything. It might just be cereal, God only knows. Um, and so I'll catch up with you guys when I get home. <laughs> Y'all see this? Do you see it? This here. This scarf on my head. That means, right? <laughs> it means your girl's done. She's going to bed. She's tired. Day over. Um, but I just want to come in and officially end the vlog. Um, surprisingly, it was like almost nine minutes um, with the clips I had. So I did an additional clip on my way home and I was like, I don't even need that. <laughs> um, but yeah, today was a good day. Very busy, very tiring, sort of emotionally and otherwise. Um, and so I'm gonna end it here so I can go to bed and get me some good rest and I will see you guys tomorrow.